part two. So I just filmed because I separated the videos because it was going to be so long. I have so much to talk to you guys about that. It's just, I'm talking way too much, not talking about fragrance enough. Like I'm just rambling. So I made this video into two parts, changed my shirt. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about the rest of my current favorite perfumes. All of them are new. There was probably like one fragrance in this entire list combined videos that is you guys have seen me talk about before. The rest are all brand new. So if you haven't seen part one, go to part one. If you haven't seen part two, <laughs> welcome. So I only have, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six fragrances here. So that's kind of why I separated them. Otherwise the video would have been so long. And like I said, I have so much to talk to you guys about because it's been like two weeks. I've been away for two weeks. So. I'm so excited. You guys already know like fragrance makes me really, really, really excited to talk about. And I can't wait to introduce you guys to these fragrances if you don't know them already. So let's start off the list with this fragrance right here. I told you already in part one, my favorite brands ever. One of my favorite brands in the world is Inicio. I cannot fault the brand. It is flawless. Like I'm not just saying that nobody pays me to say anything about their company at all. So I'm not saying that because they're paying me or they want me to say that. None, like not at all. In my opinion, the fragrances are so consistent throughout the entire range. They're so like, you can smell the quality. If you get an Inicio, you will smell the quality. I can just guarantee it. So this one is one of my favorites right now. I actually have two others in this list and which one of them in this list of six fragrances, one of them is my ultimate favorite of all time. So this one is called Psychedelic Love. I, I actually sprayed this on me today. It is just my type of fragrance. It is my type of fragrance for sure. To me, this one is unisex, leaning a little more feminine. And to me, it smells like a slightly sweet, creamy, a little bit of vanilla, just like a little bit. It has heliotrope, which to me smells very similar to almond. So like a really creamy, a really creamy, beautiful almond fragrance. That's what it smells like to me. It's a very warm and sensual and it's something to me that's very intimate, this fragrance. I think that it would be fantastic in an intimate situation. It's not loud or obnoxious or sharp. It is super rounded, creamy, smooth, and very, like I just said, very, 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 very um, sensual fragrance for sure. To me, this is a very sensual fragrance. Like I said, to me, it's unisex. And if you're into fragrances, you're a man, woman, you're into fragrances, get it. But if I could recommend, I would say a little bit more feminine, just a little bit more feminine. And I cannot wait to wear this. I cannot wait to start dousing myself in this fragrance because I think it is absolutely incredible. So Psychedelic Love, easily one of my favorites that I discovered. It's incredible. Okay, so the next one is actually from House of Siage, right here, the cupcake bottles. I'm not gonna lie, like I am not a big Diamante person, but somehow I actually really like the bottle of this. I'm not really sure why, because <laughs> I, like I said, there's some bottles from House of Siage that is just too much Diamantes for me, like too much Robski. But this, I like this bottle and the fragrance, if I can open it, <sighs> hold on. I had a problem with this when I had nails on as well. There we go. Okay. <sighs> so to me, this is a really, really, really strong orange blossom, sweet, sweet, sweet vanilla sugar sort of scent. It's it's very wearable though. To me, it's a very wearable scent. I see this maybe on a younger crowd because of how sweet it is. It is a very sweet scent. And the orange blossom gives it kind of like this, this lift. So it's not thick, heavy, sweet, dense, too much. It's the orange blossom always lifts it up. So if I could say it's like a orange blossom, a little bit like marshmallowy, a little bit sweet with the vanilla. Well, it's actually a lot sweet <laughs> with the vanilla. There's some sugar in there and yeah, it is very sweet. I would not recommend this to a guy. I think it's way too feminine and way too girly and sweet, but for a girl that likes sweet fragrances, I don't think you could go wrong with this scent at all. Like at all, I don't think that you would go wrong with benevolence. Did I even say what it's called? Uh, it's called um, benevolence. 
by House of Siage. So I actually got to smell the entire range and there was definitely a few that I was like head over heels for. I think that they do vanilla really, really, really well from House of Siage. I think they really, really do sweet fragrance as well. So this one is fantastic. A simple sweet fragrance. Let me just say that it's very simple. It's not something that's super complex and challenging. It's more the orange blossom, the sweet vanilla, the sugar. It's not complex, it's very simple. So that's up to you whether you can justify the price, but I think it smells fantastic. And that's just, that's just my opinion. We have another Anisio, and this one is called Side Effect. Now I've heard so many people talk about this one. And when I smelled it, I was, I was like, I need it. I need it right now. Give me 10 bottles. Like I need this fragrance right now. Side Effect. One of the best, the best tobacco, vanilla, boozy, sweet. If you like Herod from Parfum de Mali, you will love Side Effect. You will love it. This one, oh, easily one of my favorites from the entire line. I think it is incredible. And I think that this is a perfectly unisex fragrance, perfectly unisex. I think you can share it with your partner. It is so sexy. For me, I love vanilla, I love tobacco. I love that kind of like boozy, sexy, warm, sweet sort of scent. It's one of my favorites ever, especially for like a date. I think it, you can do no wrong. I think it is incredible. Very round, there's no harsh edges. And like I said, with Anisio, I feel like the fragrances, like I said earlier, <laughs> I feel like the fragrances from Anisio, they're very consistent. There's no, it's like, there's there's not a bad fragrance from them there's some that i don't like there's one that has i've said this in my earlier video there's one that has ambergris in it like a really strong ambergris scent and i don't really like it too much because it's too it's too salty um it's not my thing but still when i smell it and i see like how it was crafted you can smell how they've crafted the fragrances so i just want you guys to know that when you're buying from Anisio, they can do no wrong so that's just my opinion like i said you can take my opinion with a grain of salt it's fine but that's just what i'm telling you guys so side effect like i said oh it is incredible i've heard actually a few people talk about this one and i see why i totally see why it is fantastic so side effect from initio like i said recommend it for men women everyone i think it is incredible very sexy like very 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 sexy Okay, so the next one that I have here is actually one that is not released yet. So I'm going to have to cover it a little bit. I'll face it this way. So this is from Roger, Roger Dove. And this line, he's coming out with a new line. And this fragrance is amazing. I sprayed it here. Oh my god, oh my god, I love it so much. I don't know if I should even be talking about this right now. I don't know if I should even be talking about this, but I really, really want to tell you guys. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should be saying anything, but this is a new line from Roger. And basically he's kind of taken a few of the popular fragrances and made them into a cologne. And this one is called Danger. So he's kind of made the top notes last a little bit longer so that you get that whole fresh top note sort of thing going for a longer time, but then it dries down into the, the original formula. So for this one, Danger, if you've ever smelt the original, it's kind of powdery, creamy, lang lang sandalwood, it's beautiful. But for this one, the citrus notes on the top, like the grapefruit, the bergamot, the lemon, lemon verbena, you definitely get lemon verbena in here, they last longer. So it's a little bit more fresh, zesty, uh, juicy, but it lasts a really long time. So for me, I honestly don't even know if I'm allowed to be saying this, but I'm going to put it in here anyway for you guys. So uh, Roger uh, Danger, but this is a new one, as you can see by the bottle. It's a new bottle different it's incredible we have one from fragrance du bois now this fragrance i i had no idea no idea i would fall head over heels in love with this but i smelt it on a man that i totally adore called shadi i talked about him in my previous video he made me my own fragrance i fell in love with it when i smelled it on him and i said what are you wearing what fragrance are you wearing right now because i need to get 15 bottles. It is one of the best fragrances that I've smelled. And he said it's Oud Blue. 
<laughs> it's Oud Bleu Intense. And I said, what? And he said, it's from Frey Sous Bois, Oud Bleu Intense. And ever since then, <laughs> I got a bottle. Uh, this is not the original packaging. This is a different packaging, but the fragrance itself is phenomenal. To me, oh my God, it is just, I have no words. It is beautiful. I, like I said to you guys in my other video, my favorite brands, Roger, Fragrance du Bois, Parfum de Mali, Anisio. That's about it right now. Right now, <laughs> those are my favorite brands. Right now, those are my favorites. Um, and you guys have known, Parfum de Mali has been my favorite for a really long time, but the others, after smelling all of the lime, I am blown away. So Oud Blue Intense, to me, cardamom, a little bit fresh. It's got an orange note in there. It's a tiny bit sweet. You definitely get cardamom and mandarin, but really, really perfectly blended like all the fragrance of Bois fragrances. They're always done so beautifully. Uh, infused with intoxicating frankincense, myrrh essence, and warm amber in the heart. You definitely get some warm. Oh, you, you totally get the warmth in here, but it's still fresh, which is so crazy to me. It's such a complex fragrance. There's a definite freshness there, but not too much, not too much. It's perfect. It's right in the middle of being fresh and, and sweet and heavy. <laughs> it just reminds me of Shadi now. He's, he's fantastic. I've never met anybody so nice. So for me, you definitely get like the, the orange mandarin sort of thing. It's fantastic, but it's done so well. Then you get the cardamom. There's a definite spiciness to it. And then you get a warmth. So it's like perfectly balanced and I just am obsessed with it. So Oud Blue Intense, for me, I think this one would be better on a man. I think men and women for sure, but I love smelling on, oh, oh my God, I'm getting so tongue tied. I love smelling it on Shadi. It was incredible. I told him so many times, you smell so good, you smell so good. I could not stop complimenting him on what he smelled like. So uh, Fragrance Bois, Oud Blue Intense. Definitely check it out if you like your kind of Honestly, just check it out in general because it's so complex and so beautiful that I can't even explain. Okay We have come to the end. We have come to the end of this part one part two of my favorites this fragrance This fragrance I totally did not expect to love when I first smelled it. I liked it I always tell you guys for me. It's that's how it works for me. The ones that I love the most, the fragrances that I love the most, are the ones that I kind of smell at first and go, it's okay, you know, it's nice, it's good. I'm kind of like this. But this fragrance, I wore it and fell head over heels in love. Head over heels, it's probably one of the best fragrances that I've ever tried in the world. I think it is an absolute masterpiece, which I don't use that word too often. And to me, this one is a masterpiece. It's from Anisio, and this is Oud for greatness. <laughs> First of all, I love this bottle. I think it is incredible. I'm sorry my nails look so bad, but look at the bottle. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I said to you guys, when I first tried this, I smelled it on the card and I went, you know, I'm not so sure. It's nice, but I'm not really sure. Oud is not really my thing, especially when it's like oud. Like I like my oud to be covered in sweetness or with a rose. Like I really, I'm not the biggest oud person. This is one of the most unique fragrances that I have tried in my life. In my life. It is so refined. It is so unique. And my word to describe this is mysterious. It smells so mysterious and so sexy that I can't even describe it. It's absolutely 10 out of 10, no, 12 out of 10 masterpiece fragrance. So I just want to tell you guys to go and smell it, try it on your skin, see if you like it. Because for me, oh my God, it is incredible. I don't even know what the notes are in here. To me, it's kind of, there's a little sweetness smoky a little bit. There's definitely ooh, but it, like I said about Anisio, so refined. There's no harsh edges. It's not an oud where it smells skanky and dirty. It's pure luxury, pure luxury. So for me on this trip that I went to, I went to Cannes, Dubai, I smelled hundreds of fragrances. I have to say this was probably like the best that I smelled while I was there. This was, uh, yeah, this was the best. 
I think it's the uniqueness, the feeling that it gives me of feeling so mysterious. And I have to tell you guys, I was actually sitting um, with these two guys for dinner. I was at this French restaurant. I met these two men, beautiful people. Uh, and one of them was a wine, I don't know how you call it, like a wine, he makes wine. <laughs> there you go, all over the world. And he said he hates perfume. And I said, well, can you try, can you smell this fragrance that I'm wearing right now? I gave him my hand and he goes, um, he didn't say anything. And he asked me what it is. And he said, that is one of the best fragrances that I've ever smelled. And I said, you're not just saying that to flatter me, like, you know, like to be really nice. He was like, no, I hate fragrance. I hate citrus. I hate, I hate anything that's too sweet, too this, too that. I love that fragrance. He got me to write it down for him. This fragrance right here. So I don't know, for me, wine, fragrance, they're kind of in the same, you know, you have to be really, have a really sensitive palette. You have to, you know, and he loved this fragrance. And I have to say, like, for me, this is, like I just said, one of the best fragrances that I've tried. It's very niche. It is really a niche fragrance. It smells pure, luxury, smooth, sensual, mysterious. Uh, like I just said, that mysterious is a word that I would put to this fragrance. It's mysterious. So there we go. This is my ultimate favorite that I found on my trip, <laughs> um, which was really hard because I found so many, but I have to say the Oud for Greatness, wow. It is a wow, wow, wow compliment, monster, amazing masterpiece. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about the part two of my favorite fragrances that I have recently discovered new fragrances that I have acquired and that are my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and um, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Please don't forget, I have a meet and greet coming in New York City on November 5th at the Parfum de Mali Boutique, which like I said in my earlier video, uh, let me just fix my hair. <laughs> I'm super honored that I was invited to do a meet and greet there because you guys know I've been a fan of the house long before I've even spoke with the people and the director and everything. I've, I was a fan of the house way before. So for me, it's a dream. You know, it's it's a total surreal thing for me to have a meet and greet at their store. And I would love for you guys to come. So November 5th from 6 till 9 p.m. Meatpacking District. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you guys there. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.